let's see. Oh. Yo, 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 what's that word, man? What up, what up, what up? In the Tricks Podcast, you feel me? No name in this motherfucker 3.0. Don't forget the underscore. You know what I mean? <laughs> we up in this motherfucker, man. Start a little a little rough start, you feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It ain't nothing, man. No. We ain't never went this late, man, but we're gonna go ahead and get to it, you feel me? You ask me, we on time. For sure. Uh so in today's news, nah. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's uh, going on? The nigga Kodak Black. Now I'm thinking Kodak Black probably doing all this because motherfuckers talking shit about him doing a song with Takashi, but the dude 1090 Jake who be I know you heard him, he be getting all the niggas' paperwork, all the rappers paperwork and shit. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm hip, I'm hip. You know, every all this shit boiled down to for real is niggas put snitching a snitching label on everything now. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. Everything ain't snitching, bro. You feel me? No. He no. say, uh, the boy 1090 Jake, um, break down his song he did with Takashi, basically. Break down the lyrics. You feel me? Yeah. And Kodak said he was, he was snitching. Do you think, I mean, now, if you got, like, if you want some, uh, Trap Lord type shit, dog can be a young vine serial killer documentary. Yeah. You know, that's borderline snitching. Like, a lot of the shit that the blog niggas do, and niggas still be alive, they be like telling these niggas whole story. I'm trying to figure out how how is that snitching because he broke down something that he already said. It wasn't no secret. Snitching is. Snitching, snitching is telling something that telling the untold or something that ain't supposed to be told. I ain't even gonna cap, man. Snitching to me is going down, sitting in the room, telling on whoever you got caught with doing your case, or telling on a nigga who ain't got shit to do with your case. You just want to get out, so you got some information. Uh, going on the stand, pointing the nigga out, that's snitching. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. It's the yeah. difference between telling and snitching. Yeah. To me. I mean, how can how how is it snitch how, you can't snitch on public records, something that's already out there. The song is out. Everybody got access to that. Right. So my whole thing is I don't even think he said no shit on the song where you know, he, ooh, he, where he incriminating himself. You feel me? Like, nigga, you already know you're on the song with a rat, so I know you ain't talking no keys and bird and uh, <laughs> bricks the weed and, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. So, I think he just really uh, just trying to fuck with some motherfuckers because niggas are fucking with him. You feel me? So, yeah. Yeah. Fuck it, man. I'm going to say something to the white boy, man. He don't know young Kodak. Yeah, white, white boy was breaking down his lyrics, you know what I'm saying? So he, uh, you know what I'm saying? He was breaking down his lyrics, so he uh, he had to come back at him. But like I said, it was public record, so it ain't snitching to me. Yeah, it ain't snitching, man. He, he cuz me to lay off the motherfucking jiggers, man. He just saying anything at this point. Yeah. Hell yeah, but I ain't heard the song. I ain't gonna listen to it. I just heard a little clip of. I only hear what people telling me. I I still ain't heard it. You know, I, you know, I ain't listening to it. So. Yeah, so motherfuckers, you know they're gonna get some streams off that bitch because they got they got paid. So uh, you know they gonna you know they gonna run some streams up off of that shit. It's gonna be streams for Kodak because it's so controversial and then I don't think Takashi never lost his real fan base, you feel me? As far as like different different you know, ethnicities. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know <laughs> what I mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, um 
I ain't got, I don't, like I said, man, I ain't heard the song. Kodak, he's still my man, you know what I'm saying? I fuck with his music and everything. This is not that song. This is not that song. <laughs> I ain't fucking with that song, you know that. All right, so uh, in, in, in the next uh, little, little new segment, we got G Herbo got to pay 140K to victims that he scammed off their motherfucking credit card, stole 1.5 million off their credit cards. Ooh. And how much you got to pay back? Uh, you got to pay back, uh, pay back 140K. And I think you got to, like, do five years, you feel me? Oh, yeah. Do you think G Herbo is going to, they going to make him do the fab ball, the whole fab ball? You think he going to get some type of, um, like, you know how they be doing them niggas. T.I. got a year and a day, you feel me? This that ain't this. shit for the white collar crime. This nigga T.I. got caught with all type of heavy machinery, you feel me? Yeah, you right, you right. Um... And I know a nigga got to have, now I know Tip was getting money, but God damn, man, that was like the luckiest shit I heard of from a rapper, you feel me? Yeah. Nigga Tip, nigga got caught with all type of shit. This boy got a year and a day and went through all type of it, programs and shit like that. Mid, it was a middleman with Tip, though. Huh? It was a middleman with Tip. Tip really... His, he really sent his man. His man got caught with the guns. Oh, yeah. He sent somebody else, but you know, when, you know, my man told him, "Oh, uh, you know, they was for him or whatever." That's how. That's one way I heard it. That Ti didn't go actually buy the gun from the police. It was his, it was his man's. I think it was like a security guard or some shit. Yeah, yeah. But he told him to get him. You know, he paid for him and everything because it, it was some shit going on at the time. Yeah, for sure. You know? Uh, it might have been like, was the Gucci man shit or the Shorty Lowe? I think it was the Shorty Lowe shit. It was the, uh, his homeboy had just got killed. Oh, Phil. Yeah, Phil. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and then he was getting all kind of calls and, and threats and shit. You know what I'm saying? So... So do you think the courts gave him some type of leniency because of that? Because his homeboy's his dad and you know what I'm saying? Or do you think that nigga did his thing? Because we really haven't heard who he set up since he a snitch and everybody say he a snitch. Well, who the fuck he tell on? Right. That's what I want to know. Who the fuck he tell on? Yeah, I like to see when, when motherfuckers make them accusations, I like to see the paperwork, man. You got that boy whack a hundred always talking about we got to work, we got to work, man. I ain't seen that nigga pull out nobody paperwork yet. You run this big ass mouth, man. Oh, oh, big booty motherfucker. No. <laughs> <laughs> man, you mouth, man. Man. But yeah. Man. Yeah, but uh so okay, back to G Herbo. Do you think like what the fuck is he doing having stolen credit cards? And, you feel me? Like That probably was before the money, though. That probably, you know. I'm just saying, what's up with these rap niggas catching these, these, uh, you know, and these folks would be the niggas that's up in rap. What is y'all doing catching cases, white collar crimes, bro? When the songs come across, you like, hey, man, I'll take some of that free shit. <laughs> It's uh, another rapper I heard. Oh, yeah, just like Quan, though. What the fuck is you doing getting indicted for selling pounds of weed and all this other bullshit? You feel me? Yeah, fentanyl and shit. Yeah, like, it's crazy. Like, come Fetty on, just, man. Fetty, Fetty Wild just went to the joint. You say he going to the joint? I think he, he already did. I think he got sentenced. Who, Quan, though? Fetty Wild. Oh, Fetty Wild, yeah. Damn. Yeah. Now that's crazy. Fetty Wap. Yeah, they had a ring going from New Jersey all the way. Down. You know, they had a ring going. 
I think I, I forget how long he got, but he got six. Yeah, but he didn't get that much time, I don't think. I mean, they ain't slamming with some shit that's that's memorable. Like, man, they gave that nigga 25 years. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah, so tell me this, man. At what age should you stop having ops? Like, you should stop using the word op because you know that's the word now. So. Oh, how old is too old? I don't think. I don't think nobody, I mean, I mean, because, you know, truthfully, the gang shit is for life, man. Yeah. But at some point, you become OG. You know what I'm saying? I don't think nobody 35, 40 should be running around talking about no op. Yeah, that's that's what, that's what I'm saying. You feel what I'm saying? Like, but, you know what I'm saying? you It's up for life if, if you're down with that shit. It's yeah, definitely up for life. You gotta know that. Ain't no friendly shit popping off when I see you. Yeah, you gotta know that. I don't care how old you get, you know. Nigga, 50 would get blue down if he, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so should a hop be like called like a motherfucker who you want to kill or just a nigga you been getting into fights with? I see a hop is just somebody that I don't fuck with. I, I ain't. You know, I just don't fuck with you. I don't want to be around. I don't want to be nowhere in the Or it's going to be a problem. That's all. Right. right. I, you know, everybody, like, some people, you don't feel like some. I is a person that is on site. Yeah, for I sure. It's on site. You know what I'm saying? Now, you got you can have some enemies that you might let them get a pass. You're like, I ain't going to really fuck you up in here. You know what I'm saying? But. Nigga, you know what I'm saying, but like some ops, it's it's on. I feel like an op is on site. It ain't no talking. It ain't no, you know. Yeah, yeah, I, don't, I believe that. It's on, I feel like an op is on site. It ain't no. Yo. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, man. So yeah, like. I do feel like at a certain age, I ain't finna say, I mean, banally, I'm kind of possessed of saying that word now at this time of my life. You feel me? Yeah. But it's so prevalent. You know, it's yeah, yeah. you hear it so much. Yeah, but really, I don't have no ops, though, and not no more, at least. You feel me? Like, uh, I'm past that point in my life of having an eye. Yeah, because at, at some point, I figured, like, at the 30, 30 degree mark, like, like 30 years of age, you become OG. Like, you should be out the way now because it's a whole nother group of youngsters behind you that's 16, 17, 18. It's their turn. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So I feel like when you, once you get around 30, it starts to slow down. Like, you ain't going to have as many ops. But it's up for life, though. So don't, you know, don't, don't be where you ain't supposed to be. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And at that point, a nigga older, so a nigga ain't gonna be like how he was when he was younger. It's gonna be more silent, more mm. uh, a mental thing. Like, oh, I see that nigga. I'm finna go. Mm. I'm finna handle my business. Ain't nobody finna know about this type of shit. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, man. Uh, so, yeah, I, I mean, I guess I was saying your twenty. I, I, if somebody running around their twenties talking about ops. I don't mind that. Yeah, I mean, because I know if I was in my twenties, I'd be on that, I'd be on that shit tough. If that if that word was out and we and niggas was using that back when I was in my twenties, mm -hmm. oh man. We would have had a field day with that hot word. You feel me? And really been standing on that. Yeah. You know, back in our time, we probably would have said opposition. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the opposition. Uh, man, okay, so, boom. I know you seen that video with the, 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 the island boy no. confessing to, uh, yeah, confessing to be gay. Yeah. But not only that, I just, 
I just don't know about them. Like, I feel like a couple of these people in the industry is like. I thought they was brothers, man. Huh? I thought they was brothers, man. Ain't they brothers? They look just alike. I don't know. No, not with all that kissing and shit. They fuck. Hey, man. Birdman was kissing Wayne in the mouth, so. Not like that. But. Come on, man. They ain't. I understand what you're saying. No matter how, but I'm saying, like, <laughs> damn. Man, yeah. That, that was passionate. It was passionate kisses. You feel mm-hmm. me? Mm-hmm. So, that's crazy. That's some wild shit. But you know, they not niggas, though. Like, our culture, you got to think of what, what uh, race they is. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Them is some white boys. You feel me? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I ain't got nothing against white people, man. You know what I'm saying? But mm-hmm. some some white folks just be on some other shit. And we just got to keep it real. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, that's some more. Uh, They're more prone to do some shit like that, I should say. Yeah, so. so and that's just how it is, man. You know, it's just the animalistic qualities. You know what I'm saying? You think it's for the clout? I thought that at first, but. Why would you do that? It's just why would you do that? Why would you do that? You could, man. Yeah, like it could be. He sounded uh, sincere though when he said, you know, when he said what he was saying, he sounded real sincere about it. Yeah, that he said he liked dudes. <laughs> he sounded real sincere about it. I don't know if the money then got low. I don't know. I don't know what angle them dudes come from because the money could have got low. You know, they, they do some crazy shit. They be on YouTube bragging about how this car is this and they doing this, man. It, I be seeing them on this little dude YouTube channel. And um, they terrible, man. Is that new footage or, or is it old footage? They terrible. But my whole shit is like, I think a lot of people in the industry is fucking industry clones like them two. You feel me? Like where did the where the fuck y'all come from first and foremost? You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And they, they just popped up out of nowhere. They like the white version, twin version of Kodak Black. You feel me? On oh, some bullshit. Just make it made up some bullshit. You know who else I think of uh, industry clone? Who? Uh Ice Spice. <laughs> She just popped out of nowhere. She looked like a little robot. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. No bullshit. For real. That bitch looks like she got Down syndrome. Man, she looked like... Uh, she definitely looked... She looked like an industry clown. She looked like she came from fucking outer space. Yeah. Like they packing too much makeup on her face or some shit. She just... I don't know, she man. That fucking acne. She probably got acne. Then, you know, ever since I watched Clone and Tyrone, man, I be looking at a lot of these motherfuckers with the side eye now. You feel me? Hey, man, I've been trying to watch that, man. I, I, I keep falling asleep, man, because I, I, you know, I blow one, I sit back, I be, I wait till the end of the night, <laughs> trying to be, you know, when I'm relaxed and shit. Yeah, trying to sit back and watch that shit. I never make it. I make it. I make it about twenty minutes in. I will be gone. So I'm gonna try it again, man. So we got more motherfuckers scamming out here, man. DJ Envy, man. What's up with your man? Man, on the real estate fraud tip. Man, dog. (laughs) Like, I know you seen Rick Ross get on his ass for a minute. Yeah, you know I seen it. Yeah, so I wonder, because you know. DJ Envy owns some houses like a, a lot of real estate here in the city and shit. Yeah. And um, I just wonder if some of that shit here, like, what the fuck is you doing? Like, what's I going on? That's probably where the majority of it said. Yeah, right. some some nigga probably tried to tell teach him some finesse and shit to get more money, and his dumb ass did it. Yeah, that's crazy, man. But luckily, it's a lawsuit, though. It's not, like, criminal. You feel me? Right. You know what I'm saying? Not yet. Yeah, not yet. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. crazy, though, because I thought Envy was a straightforward dude, man. 
Man, you feel me? He was trying to cut some corners. That's where it happened at, man. When you a straightforward dude and then you try to do some shit that really ain't what you do, it don't never go right. Like, stay in your lane. You feel me? Right. That's why I never became a scammer because it just ain't in my life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. When I was out there doing, you know, shit that I had no business doing, man. I'm a working <laughs> nigga now. <laughs> yeah. Hey, but yeah, I thought DJ Envy was a straight up and down guy, man. Uh, you know, he seemed like a good nigga, but he really got some. Fucked up ways, it's them beige niggas, man. Mm, I was just about to say, he like <laughs> the motherfucker, man. He is, he's like one hundred percent light skin. He, man. Yeah, he one of them nice. niggas. If he one of them niggas, if you don't, he don't like your joke at the Christmas, the Christmas dinner when y'all at table eating. He's not never going to fuck with you no more. Yeah, after he that. ain't going to ever get over it. Like, he never gets over it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. I was surprised him and Charlemagne sticking it in there for so long. You feel me? Because I couldn't deal with that nigga Envy, man. They good little, they good little team, though. So tell me this, man. Do you, like, cause do you think? Cause it's really going crazy in the industry right now, man. You got Cardi B, goddamn. Throwing microphones at people not once but twice at two shows, two yeah. different shows. Yeah. Like, 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 damn, man, Offset pissed she, you off. Like, she's what happened? Is like, she going through something? Is she is she stressed out? I don't know. Cause she did it twice. Yeah. Now. I seen it. You seen it, right? Yeah. So the girl who she threw hit the mic. You know, she the girl who uh, got hit with the mic. Um, she didn't. She didn't throw no drink at her. And the girl who threw the drink was saying, "I'm sorry. I'm yeah, sorry." Oh yeah, I heard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She still fired that mic at her, but I, she missed though. I think. Did she miss? Uh, nah. She missed the girl who actually threw the drink at her, but oh, she hit the chick wrong. behind her. That got hit with the mic. <laughs> yeah. she, she got to pay. She Ain't that some shit? She got to pay for that. So, so she got she she got criminal charges now, like assault charges. You feel me? Yeah, cause you threw a yeah, cause you threw the mic and hit her. Yeah, so like, damn, you gonna get a motherfucker locked up? You just not gonna. Just sue me, man, or come holler at me, man. My bad. I ain't. They're gonna play it down. You know what I'm saying? They gonna. Uh, what's gonna happen is they're gonna settle. Kyrie gonna pay the bitch, and they gonna move, and they gonna move on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, cause that's crazy. Like, uh, um, uh, I'm trying to move this shit from off the uh, bottom of the screen, uh. My bad, my bad, man. Yeah, but um, yeah. Hopefully they just settle that out, man. People need to learn how to communicate nowadays. Shit don't be about uh, shit don't always be about trying to sue a motherfucker, try to get a motherfucker locked up. You feel me? Because the the bitch Cardi B, she like a real motherfucker for real. You feel me? I fuck with her. Yeah. So I just think that if the person who got hit with the mic probably like, you know, hit her on Instagram or get with her some type of way, like, hey, I need I need you to I need you to come holler at me. We need some of them ping pings, you feel me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? I think she get she probably get more if she go through the court system. So she gonna she gonna roll it out, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah, man, that's too much to be going through, man. Mm-hmm. Cardi gonna go on and settle. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she definitely gonna settle. 
So lately, man, I've been seeing out here, uh, man, it's been a lot of Jeezy, like Jeezy, whole fucking team. Slick put the whole USDA, man. Them boys is just going at that nigga like, like, from out of just like flags on shit. You feel me? <laughs> Coming out of everywhere on all these interviews. Uh, it's crazy. Slick put it and changed his name and shit. He a Muslim or something now. Uh, hold on. You ever seen this nigga before? Let me uh blow it up real quick. Can you see that? No, I was looking at him earlier. You talking about the guy up under Clem? Yeah, Clem. <laughs> yeah. I um No, I ain't seen him before. What's his name? Uh Clem. No. Oh, Clem, no, I, yeah, I watched the Clem interview. I seen, I talk, I seen him, but I was talking about the guy up under him in that on that picture. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. Oh, that's Big Git. No, 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 that's the uh, oh, oh, fat one kid up. Oh, okay. That's... Now this is Chicago rapper yeah. that's uh. He was locked up for like damn near 10 bars. You feel me? They had like 20 some years. He, you know, 051, 051 drill, 051 Melly on the boys. You feel me? Um, he got straight out the joint on some bullshit. You feel me? Like, like it's up straight in the rap game. And motherfuckers say he gonna die before he even get a chance to to really enjoy this shit, you feel me? And, and you say you seen him, so what energy do you get off of him? Right. Like, he ain't gonna make it too long out here if he keep with the diss, huh? No. Yeah, man. They quit playing with life. Yeah, my nigga Crit Mac out here making headlines too, man. I've been seeing the movie bump. Man, I fuck with Crit Mac, man. I used to like that nigga because I thought, you know, his act was just too hard, but that's really him. You no, feel me? He good, he good. Yeah, I used to have a homeboy, man, from California, man. That boy name is uh, Chris. Chris Mac. Damn, what's that nigga name? Man, I forgot I'm high right now. Uh, but y'all, I just want to take a minute to say like, comment, share, subscribe. These pages, man, it's rolling across the bottom there for you if you can see it. Yeah. Give it a give it a look right there. Hit the links. Yep. Like, comment, subscribe. All that old good shit, man. It's free. Hit that like button. So my, my my man Charles some white man, he haven't been going off on the internet lately, but I've been seeing him on some spare of the moment. I go in there, I see him talking this shit. But <clears throat> Doggy Bone is just going, he just be tripping now nah, with this uh what, what's the boxer name? Um uh, Spence, Errol Spence Jr. Right, so who so this was so his daddy fought last night. No, his daddy is his trainer. Oh, okay. Earl Spence was the the dude who got the the skin beat off him. Oh, uh, Earl Spence. Oh, last night he the nigga that got beat up. Yeah. So was that last night? Saturday night. Oh shit! Good, great, great entertainment, by the way, man. I, uh, it was really a one-sided fight, but it was still good, I guess, because I was going for the dude who won. So it was a good fight, man. Yeah, my dog still got his his, his head looked like my like marker. <laughs> Ooh wee! It was terrible. That boy yeah. had a cherry top, man. I'm telling you. So listen to what Charleston White saying, man. 
You can't go through there at no hundred and some mile power. But he got a little more three and them chasing him in the back. So after Earl had that wreck, everybody said enough is enough. They were sick of Mo3. He getting to, he fucking with the, the, the swirls champ. So that was a secret that most people didn't know. Not many people in the city knew what kind of car Mo3 was driving. Only person really knew what kind of car Mo3 was driving was who? Earl. Earl gave a drop on the car. After the rip. Man. <laughs> I don't know about that, man. And I remember him saying some shit like that around the time Mo 3 died or whatever, you feel me? I remember him saying that shit, though. But how do you know? You know what? Motherfuckers be knowing what's going in there. All them boys from Dallas, man. You, you hear shit. You hear shit. You know what I'm saying? Street shit, man. You hear shit. That nigga Charleston from Fort Worth, Texas. That's all the same area. Dallas, Fort Worth is all the same. Oh, okay. It's all the same. Oh, so they like... It's like... Yeah. How we, yeah. So... And then Mo3, you know, he was from there. Earl Spence from there. You know what I'm saying? So it could be some hood shit. I'm I'm gonna get deeper off into this. We're gonna we gonna stay on this because it could be something to that. The other night when he came out, when he came out, he came out with Big X the plug. That's the newest, hottest nigga in Dallas, the big fat nigga that rap. Yeah. He came out with him. So it's just a lot of shit, you know. He, be, so, he and he with the Crips, you know what I'm saying. So it's dog who came out with him. Uh, that was one of Mo three ops or something. I don't know. I'm saying it's all some Dallas shit. So we don't know who beefing with who, you know. That's what I. That's why I'm saying I'm gonna look. This story is real interesting to me, and I just got word of it today, and I'm gonna stay on this one because I think it might be something to that man. The streets talk, man. Them all, all them boys from Dallas, man. Yeah, and they showing some video of a crash. That was him. That was Earl Spence. Earl Spence had a crash, man. It fucked him up, threw him off the car. That boy wasn't even really supposed to be boxing last uh, the other night. Charleston White said. <clears throat> Charleston White said. It's because whatever <clears throat> whatever happened with Mo three and him, he gave a drop up on Mo three and all that old shit. He said that's why he lost the fight. He said he need to get himself right with God. You feel me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He said whatever he's doing, he needs to stop it because that's what's stopping him from great. Uh, he was man, look at what he did. He was he was two. He had two three belts. Oh, and I want to say, man, rest in peace to my nigga Pee Wee Herman, man. You feel me? I can't believe that shit, man. I was a nigga I grew up off of when I was a kid. Yeah. They banned my nigga because he was getting off in the movie theater. <laughs> yeah, he was fucked up for that, man. Oh, it was kids in there and shit? I was probably, he was in there by himself. I don't know. I, I don't know, man. It was sick. That's all I like. <laughs> you said it was sick. Yeah. What the fuck is you doing, man? You you got it, man. Come on, man. Yeah, man. So, do you know it's a Houston rapper? I think he's from Texas, man. Big Pope. You heard of him? Big Pope? Or what? what how you say it? Uh, Big Pokey. Big Pokey. Uh, nah, I ain't heard of him. Oh, okay. We ain't gonna talk about him then. I just know he died and shit. And, uh, you know, it's just fucked up how back in the days you could rarely catch shit like that. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Like, niggas dying and all this shit going on. You see that's that you like, damn. You know what I'm saying? Like, it be fucking me up for real. You know what I'm saying? Seeing motherfuckers with their head blew off. Seeing uh, accidents and Seeing shit, people you know, 
You feel me? Right. Shit, it's just right before your ass on the internet, because that's the first thing the motherfuckers go. When shit happened, man, I ain't gonna lie to you. When shit happened, I don't even grab my phone. You know how much shit I done seen and how much shit that happened, man, in my life when, when cell phones and shit, that smartphones came out. Mm -hmm. Man, I could have recorded so much shit, but I never think about grabbing my phone recording shit, dog. Right. Not serious shit, you feel me? Yeah. I don't know how, like, it, it's a fucked up time. I think the internet really fucked up the, the way we did it. I was telling Polo, man, we was going to try to tap him in, man. Yeah, tap him in. Let me get a word, word or two from him. Let me see. see uh, uh, wait, no. See. You the host, thank you. Yeah, players fuck up too, man. It's all right. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to see what. You got to send it to him, though. Yeah, I know. He just got to be up. Tell him we going to send him the, the call. I mean, the shit if he be up. Hit that nigga up. I'm about to send that nigga the link now. I just sent the nigga the link. Casey wants to get down, man. I hope it ain't too late for the play. You feel me? This song. Uh, we might have to tap him in. He ain't popped up on there yet. I sent him the link. I don't want to say that nigga number, but. Uh, his last foe was 64-13, right? Yeah. Yeah, man. Well, why are we waiting on Polo, man? Because I would like for Polo to hop in here. Oh, he, he about to hop in that thing. I don't know. What up, Doc? <laughs> Bam. Yeah, I like this little setup. It's popping. What's going on, fam? What's up with What's going it? on with you, my dog? What y'all been touching on? What's the word? Bro, we been going man, we've been, been touching on all type of shit, man. Really, these the industry, you feel me? These rap niggas. And, but I want to I wanted to bring you on, man, because, you know, you a legend for real, you feel me? I watched you growing up, so I want to talk to you about, yo, career in this industry and the rap shit like when did you first start this shit and you know how did, how did you even um come up with the fact like damn i'm, I'm gonna start rapping you feel me oh um, man that shit was nothing but simple man just try it that's all it was i know i was gonna be good at but, it yeah but what inspired you though oh uh, man everybody that rap you know what i'm saying but, <laughs> Sometimes, you know that, you gotta say them words to get shit off your mind sometimes. You know, you know the Nas is in the, you know, that's my favorite rapper, the Rock Kim, you know, all that, but ain't really worth nothing, man. Just to be able to do it, man, to try it. But when I tried it, I ain't think nobody would like what I was doing, you feel what I'm saying? Right. Then when they started liking it, I was like, oh, we might got something, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah, definitely, definitely. That's all it was, just 
But everything I did from the beginning, man, I just spoke about me, man. I ain't never sell a dream or nothing. I just, I think the reason why motherfuckers liked me was because I was just was talking about my life. Yeah, for and sure. The people in the streets around me was like, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, I remember that. He's, you know what I'm saying? It was something they could feel. It was, you know, it was real. It was from, you right. know, from the heart. Right. It just, you know what I mean? That's all it was, man. It wasn't like trying to do this, do that. It wasn't none of that. No, it was just, I'm saying what I'm saying. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. Because I really just right. rap for my friends. You know what I'm saying? My, as long as my friends liked it, that's all it was, really. You know what I mean? At the end of the day. I mean, that's all yeah, it was. So, so tell me when you dropped your first first album, because I remember. So, yeah, so on that album, was that your first album that you got this nigga rapping off? That was the first one. That was the last one. But that was, but listen, it's, it's tricky, though. <laughs> that was the first one with a whole body of work that was supposed to be the first one that never came out. You know what I mean? So I just started doing other shit. Cause we had, we had the machines that was moving, but at the time they ain't really want to fuck with us like that. You know what I'm saying? When I got that keyboard, they thought I was a fool because, oh, you ain't gonna never be able to make a beat. I started making the beat. But you know, everything got a different story, man. It's, it's always type of you know levels on on shit. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, cause you definitely was into the beats too. You definitely and you still make beats too, right? No, I was straight keyboard beat though. Like I know that shit I was doing like on the computer, but I was straight the album. I was straight all the beats I made straight on the keyboard with my yeah. head. You know what I'm saying? But like for everything, when you think you get close to something, the powers that be, they switch a narrative. You know what I'm saying? You know, one nigga might be like, oh, you fuck with my man on that song? He mad about a bitch or something. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah, so what? Go it's ahead. Something, man. It's always something. So, Tony, what song was you on, man? Uh, Over the years, we did a few few different songs. Man. No, but what was... What was that song, man? That bitch was it Drive My Wet? Drive My Wet. Yeah, yeah, that was the one. That was that Yeah. Was, that, that was the one, one man. Yeah. That, that was the one. I was like, damn, and then you know, coming up and seeing all this shit, like, damn, man, all my people rapping and shit. It's just like you say. That's what inspired you, because everybody around you is doing this shit. So it ain't like it's it's abnormal, you feel me? Everything was normal. Just for me to fit up in that pocket, you feel me? Right, right, right. All my yeah, nephews, but, everybody, huh? man, all of them. I influenced all my nephews to rap, man. They all came, all of them. Yeah, I think we got a real uh, musical family, man, for some <laughs> Right. It was like, the thing about it was it wasn't, it really wasn't nothing hard, man. It was just... We were just doing what we was doing, man. And then, like, like I said, dry my wet. Me and Tuna did that in a couple minutes, and we never thought that was gonna be what that was. I so other people started talking about it. You know, like we said on, on on our pod, like, man, come on, man, we ain't come on, y'all really serious? You don't hear what I said on these other bars? But they liked it that up tempo, talking about holes, club, so. like that. You know, club, the club joint. I'm like, oh. They love that type of shit, huh? We never so did y'all ever did y'all ever have any shows like how was the like the shows back then at that time and shit? Because when I came like in my era really getting on stage and shit, it was like it was different. You know, some people hated us, some people loved us. It was just a whole bunch of mixed feelings in that motherfucker. We could mm -hmm. fight niggas, all type of shit. Like, was the atmosphere smooth back then where you could get your shit off? And it, you know, it wasn't even it wasn't even the atmosphere because me rapping, you go back to like bumpers. I remember DJ what what's uh Nitty, D, DJ Crazy, what's his name? Nitty Boy, Crazy Cas or whatever. Hey, crazy Cas. He used to just put a beat on and just let me get on the mic. So I just be ripping in that bitch. And then uh, it go back to the next song. You know what I'm saying? So 
Motherfuckers start coming to me like, man, you should start rapping. I'm like, I, mean, I just, man, I don't give a fuck about that. You know what I'm saying? But by the right. time we all popped, y'all had venues. We didn't have venues. You know what I'm saying? Y'all had local artists coming. You know, you know, motherfuckers coming to our city. Y'all had shows at the Rock. You know what I'm saying? We didn't have that then. We caught that late. R.I.P. to Toddy. He was a good dude too. You know what I'm saying? He looked oh, out. Ty, yeah. Todd looked, Todd, out. Todd looked out. You know what I'm saying? We went on the road with Todd and got a nice little bit of money. But the thing about it is, we ain't really, we used to go, we went outside and didn't have no stage presence or nothing. You know what I'm saying? We was just, just rapping. We thought the words was going to get it. You got to have a whole full picture of what you're doing when you're rapping. And we had never really been on stage. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. We thought the words, like you listen to a CD, we think we stand on stage and just, <laughs> no, nah. you gotta. Yeah, you gotta, that's crazy. You gotta yeah. know how to move. You gotta know how to capitalize. Yeah. Right. You gotta know when the motherfucker catch you from the corner and hit your. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Yeah, that's that's crazy. Like, y'all ain't had no venues back then. All niggas had was bumpers and Bodix and. <laughs> yeah, rap that Bodix for five minutes, and then I'm DJing that Bodix. Might rap for five minutes, and then turn the beat on and put the next yeah. song on, play Biggie or something. Ambitions of a writer by Top or something. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's crazy. Like, oh, that shit was just like all oh, freestyles, man. It wasn't really. It wasn't no nah, really. Is, is y'all familiar with uh, FBG Duck? Yeah, I am. Yeah. All right, so. All right, this FBG Duck mama, do you see her like in the blogs and doing all the shit she be doing? Yeah, I do. Well, let's say today she got ran over by a car by her baby daddy. Now I seen this video, Come on, oh and I'm God. and I'm saying this because I got a point by saying this, but I seen the video, man, and she was hollering like a motherfucker. I don't, you can't see the actual her, him running her over, but you can hear her screaming like you feel. Is she alive? I, I, I believe she alive. I think she fucked up, but I think she alive. But baby daddy. I'm saying that to say, do y'all think her life has been in shambles? Like this woman lost like what duck break three kids. I think two other kids. kids. She lost three she kids. Lost three. A daughter and two sons. Yep. Right. Like so, I don't think her life is in shambles. I just think she doing too fucking much. She, she be all on glad and all that trying to, you know. Try to live through them. She should just sit her ass down some fucking there and shoot the mama. You know what I'm saying? That's how I feel. I think she just yeah. being her. I think she just being herself. I think she just always was toxic. You know. Yeah, that's why she got one of them hood mamas. You know, she had them kids young, so she was out. Right. Still act young and shit. I know ladies, I know ladies like that, man. Yeah. They can't let yeah. it go. Oh, shit. Yeah, my mama used to be like that a long time. <laughs> well, no, I'm talking she used about. She's be out there thugging with us. Yeah. She used to oh, be yeah. out there thugging with well, us. You feel me? No, nah, because I used to be thugging with them, though. Right. I was in the bars where they was at. I wasn't even old enough. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. You definitely was. But like Polo say, man, I think that she, um, I think she needs to be a grandma, man. Finish being a mother. Right. I know she got some other kids, you feel me? Um, she do be doing too much. I know it hurt as a parent to lose your child. I don't know the feeling of it, but I can just imagine, you feel me? So, so, uh, like, I understand, you know, the anger and the pain she feel, but some shit don't need to go on the internet. She do need to calm the fuck down, man. Just be a grandma. Live, live your best life, man. I'm just saying, you can get you can get the little love off your kids. You say that one time, but then she went to doing multiple, multiple, multiple interviews though, trying to turn that for herself. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, be the grandma, like you said, be the grandma and chill. Yeah, chill, man. Man. You gotta you gotta relax, man. <laughs>
You got you got to relax. That's, that's all you really got to do. I mean, we don't want to see Mama Duck. I don't want to see Mama Duck. I ain't supposed to even know who his mama is, to be honest. You got on. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> ain't that crazy? I ain't supposed to know who his mama is. That's crazy, though. Yeah, you don't supposed to know who his mama is. I mean, you right in the way, but then in the way, it's like the nigga died. She lost her kids in the streets, here, so she probably trying to make awareness. You know, I have seen her do certain shit to where it's like she trying to you know, help out and stop the violence and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it's it's like then she get pulled back in because she hear these niggas talking shit about her son, dissing her son on the motherfucking internet. So now she gotta defend him. You feel me? But it's like don't even say shit because karma a bad motherfucker, man. You know she what I'm saying? Because she don't gotta defend him because them problems ain't hers. Yeah, you're yeah. right. She ain't got to defend him for what? Man, I swear, man, when I was out there in the streets, man, fucking around, man, my mama never had to worry about, uh, you know, none of my problems in the street. You feel me? Right. It's but like let me ask you this. Would you want your mom running around the streets worrying about your problems? No, nah, hell no. Nah. Exactly. So why is she doing that? Like, it makes you think, is she part of the problem? Hmm. This yeah. will make you think. No disrespect, but I'm saying, is, is she part of the problem? Mm. That's something to think about. I mean, that's basically that's some real shit because she should be grieving. She shouldn't be posting. Well, because you think this shit, is her way of grieving, though? Right. She should be grieving, but listen, I'm going to tell you real shit. Them crimes that go down in the shy, man, it's not going to be fixed. And she can't fix it by talking about it. She, de she definitely can't do it. You get what I'm saying? Right. If they let Larry Hoover out right now, he can't fix it. So she man, definitely. boys don't care to give two fucks about Larry, man. Yeah. I'm just saying. The world don't give a fuck about. Listen, people lost too many motherfucking people to think you're going to fix something. It ain't going to be fixed. No. Only way that shit's going to be fixed, only thing that way to listen. Only way that shit gonna be fixed is the younger kids growing up and not be a part of that. That's the only way that shit gonna be fixed. Yeah, for sure. It's gonna stay war. Yeah, so, so I'm thinking like I'm I ain't even heard her to be all on the platform talking about nothing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm saying I'm on some real shit like you that that shit is gonna keep going. You know what I'm saying? The numbers gonna keep going up, but the, the, the new generation who's going to fix that. Not, no, we can't talk about it. The mayor can't fix it. The governor can't fix it. Well, like, can't nobody fix that? Too many points, Mr. Yeah, no, man. And not only in the shadow, but where we live at, the places we live, all the, 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 the younger generation that came after us is mm -hmm. fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like I don't think none of them really have a uh, mind frame of, you know, respect and morals and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Right. See, we knew certain just... things to do, but we knew things not to do though. Mm -hmm. We do. We move like we move with respect. You know what I'm saying? Like, but it's a broad daylight out here. Yeah, there was no way in hell I'm finna go. And go down the You froze up over there, cuz. Yo. Yeah, you was froze up for a minute. You back? You moving? That's it, bro. I'm finna jump on this next topic, man. 
because I've been seeing this in the news a lot. I don't want to get y'all honest to pick. You know, you never know what the real story is. You feel me? Because what's that? Yo. Yeah, we here. I hear you. Yo. You're from a minute. What's good? Oh shit! What? Yeah, your internet was frozen for me. I didn't That's hear what crazy. you said. Yeah, man. So, yeah, I see. Uh, tuning and got up. Yeah. Okay. So, look. Boom. I want to bring up this topic because it's been in, in my in my little roller decks. Right. So, so what you think the the hook gonna do with Keefy D, man? Uh, to be honest, me. Let me tell you like this. That proper, whatever the fuck he did, or whatever that was in California, right? Ain't got shit to do with Vegas. You know what right. I'm saying? I even read an article that said he had bullets in the crib that might have matched the gun. He kept the bullets and shit like that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You can Google, you'll see it. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's going to catch a, a murder charge in Vegas because he talking. California, what they say, California politics? Yeah. They ain't got to do with Vegas. You know what I'm saying? I've never seen a motherfucker tell a story so many times about killing Pac. And I'm like, well, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so I'm just like, how could you be so stupid to keep some shit in that book? Damn, there been 30 years? Like, damn, like, you, you got bullets. But I don't, I don't know, man. We shall see. I'm just saying. I mean, he's like, going to get, get 10 years at least, probably. You know what I mean? What, 10 years for what? Uh, uh, so uh, What's his charge, though? But they're going to probably get him accessory to murder or something. You know, something Because like he that. ain't shoot him. He ain't shoot Pop. But how we know he didn't? How we know he didn't? Because he's the only one. Everybody, listen. Orlando Anderson did. The other dude that was in the car did. He the only the other the third dude did. He the only motherfucker alive. You feel what I'm saying? 